Sweet Tastic Games. Hello there, we are back. And as you see, I have quite a high EXP level at the moment, and we're back to the vanilla texture pack because we felt like it. Couldn't be bothered with the five minute startup. Mm mm. Not fun. So, anyway, I've been mining, and I got in total 11 diamonds and mining about 100 blocks. So, yeah, plus most of these materials here as well. So, pretty good. And all of those XP levels. So, let's grab a couple of these. Oh, it starts smelting. I also made a clock. Because that is really one of my favorite items in the game. It's just so useful. It's so good when you live underground to be able to know what time it is. Or if you don't have windows literally everywhere. Like, not operating uh, operative system, but true windows. <coughs> it's also good to be able to know how dark it is outside. And I did set up a cow farm over here. They are a bit glitched now though, so one of the cows did not follow the wheat, it basically just got stuck as long as I held my wheat in my hand, so I had to push it from that cliff right where my mouse pointer is, right there, all the way over here, use some fences to push it up zigzag up here, then destroy it and let it in. The other one followed me quite willingly until about there when I had to change what I had equipped, and then the same thing happened to that, so I just put the fence here and push it over. So we have the cow farm started. And what else, what else? The wheat farm is really growing quite well. I'm not going to run out of food anytime soon, but I would prefer to use the beef though, because... Or steak when we have cooked it, because A, it gives you experience when you cook it, you get experience for killing the cows, and you also get experience for uh, breeding the cows, which makes it really, really efficient. If we had chickens though, I would have made an automatic chicken cooker instead, but eh, whatever. Can't have everything now, can we? And loud ass Zambies are everywhere, and I can't be bothered. I found the slime, he's right above there though, so. or was there rather. So, hopefully, we won't have any problems with them. And I really hope you enjoyed the new intro I made for the channel. I'm messing around quite a bit with After Effects, and I'm uh, getting more and more stuff done. I'm making a. like, whatchamacallit, Minecraft specific intro. But that requires uh, Photoshop CS6, which I don't have, so I'm going to have to wait until this Sunday so I can get that. But whatever. Fine by me. And what we're going to do now, while that is cooking up there, I'm going to try to reach level 30 so I can enchant this badass. And enchantment table. There we go. Let's see, what achievements do we have actually? We have time to farm, we need the cake is a lie, we need cow tipper, we need sniper duel. What do we have over here? We need to make a furnace, we need to smelt some stuff so we can actually get the need to go deeper and then uh, health blazes, what the hell they named that. Um, I think they named that ought to be the blow, I'm not sure. Gas tier. Enchantment table there, some bookshelves, swords. I will actually have multiple enchantment tables around, so it doesn't really bother me. And the amount of gold and stuff we got from that caving trip means we can, even if we have to travel a little bit in the nether or similar to get to new biomes, like, let's say, Mesa, we should really quickly be able to set up uh, the rails there. And, pro tip, if you're looking to mine diamonds and gold and iron and redstone, best place to do it is in combined river biome, forest biome, whatever you want to call it. This is a river here, this little part here, because why not? But forest and then deep ocean. The deep ocean is basically covered in only gravel. I can give you a quick show of that if we go to max brightness and then twicky, take a quick little dip in the ocean. Can't even see it at this point, but whatever. Yeah, as you see, it's pretty much all gravel. And it's really deep. So we need to get out of here before we drown. But it's a really, really... Oh, uh, what should I call it? Interesting biome. And it looks... It looks pretty plain. Oh, wow. Lag spike. Which is something I'm not an extreme fan of, but whatever. 
let's turn brightness down again. The reason I haven't put torches on the cow farm is that, well, I ran out of them while caving, mining things. So, in this episode we are going to build an enchanting room. And possibly also get to the nether, because I really, really want to look at the nether. Uh, let's skip night. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on, there we go. Let's see if we can breed the cows again, because why not? I will need a load of leather. Or maybe not leather, but a load of experience and a load of beef. A lot of that steak. One could call it a quite beefy meal. Another bad punch. There we go, breed again. It takes them like maybe three minutes now, so really efficient. They will be able to get this pen up pretty quickly. Whoo! Yes, I'm excited. This is beginning well. Um, I haven't really explored the stronghold, but I have discovered it goes quite a way that way. And it's basically it's pretty big around here, actually, so it might be difficult to find the portal, but if we get to the nether, I will do, since I killed the slime and got some slime balls. If we can get some easy access glowstone, I am going to use one of the cheaper tricks I know to actually find... Uh, portals and similar, and dungeons. And I'm sorry if you people don't like this, but I'm going to do that just to locate the portal in this case, because I really want to know where it is so I can find it real easily and not have to waste their pearls when I'm actually inside the stronghold itself. You basically... You don't... You don't suffocate in glowstone, it's counted as a transparent block, so if you have a sticky piston or a normal piston, but then you cannot retract it. Uh, let's say where this bookshelf is, and then a lever, like a block next to it, and then a lever connected to the bottom of that block. Like, let's say there was a block here next to this one, and I put the lever below it, and I stood here with the glowstone facing down on me, and I pulled the lever. I would be inside the glowstone, and I would be able to see through it, because its texture is not transparent, but it's counted as a transparent block, just like grass, uh, not grass, just like glass and leaves. So I could basically look around and see for the world, which is highly efficient. You can do the same with TNT, but a bit more risky. Which is why I in general don't use TNT for it, unless I know that I can get that a lot cheaper. So, and right now I only have one gunpowder as well, so that's another factor in that. But right now we need some of this. We will actually use the acacia wood, I think, for the build as well. Or dig, build, thing, design would be the best word there, I suppose. Um, enchanting room, enchanting room. Let's yeah, let's actually just do this. <laughs> Good enough for me. We need to mine out all of this at some point anyway, pretty much, because I'm going to use it in other build locations. So mine in here. We are going to need a. From this point, we are going to need two, three, or actually four, five, and then mine around here. And one, two, three, four, five, one, two. That works. Like, I haven't really even planned this out, and I should have brought torches, shouldn't I? Yes, I am so well prepared. Uh, do I actually have any coal stored up? Yes, I do. Do, do I have any coal? Um, yeah. A bit too much coal, maybe. Yes, just a little bit too much. Yes, that tiny amount. So, there we go, two stacks of torches. And I won't waste any of the bread, I will eat it only when I have reached zero food bar, because, well, right now I don't feel like wasting it flat reason. Um, what do we have here? What do we have here? I'm trying to think of a design as we're going here because I didn't really plan this out. I was like, oh hey, there's a lot of diamonds. Yeah, I know what we're doing this episode. And we're doing it. I'm so good at planning, am I? Am I not? Am I not? Yes, blimey. 
eventually, I since the enchanting table I think is counted as a transparent block, we might actually put the beacon below it. Wouldn't that look awesome? Oh, that would look so good when I think about it, actually. Let's see, let's see, mine all this way. Mine that. One torch in each corner for now. Just so that I have the corners lined out. Uh, there and there and uh, oh whoops enchantment table right there now imagine a beacon going up through that book oh that looks so good now here we are going to mine this out we are going to need the bookshelves well we do have enough stuff to craft them <laughs> That's what I'm sure. We definitely have the books. Um, mine that, or shop that rather, I suppose. Do, do, do. Mine, shop, whatever. Ignore my lingual capabilities. Let's see. Mine. Why do I keep saying mine? Shop that away. Remove, I should just say, and uh, that would probably feel better. And actually, let's eat this right now, because I feel like I just want full food bar at the moment, even though I said I would save doing that. Uh, so, some more books. We will need to set this up in a way like so. And so, 12 bookshelves. Let's go down here again. We'll probably have to go and shop more wood though, which is sad, but eh, can't really do anything about that. So, put torches on top of this for now. And level is 24. Cool, cool. We need one. No, I actually think we need three more, right? Yeah, that should be about enough. So, let's go up and uh, cut down some more trees. I will have to set up a tree farm soon as well. But right now, I actually like this base. It feels very comfy. It feels secure. It feels robust. Would probably be the best word. Um. It feels like my own personal little uh, anti-nuke bunker. Uh, yeah, I don't really have any better way to describe it. That's why I said that. Um, there we go. Do it like that. And then this. Just to have some order in here. And not have it look like this. Do -do -do. Oh yeah, what's going up or not? My brain. Just please ignore it. It's not working properly. Whoa, that lag. Let's see, what color? Ooh, yeah, we'll actually use the planks now for the build. Now, we need to cut down some more oak wood. Um, and yeah, I cut down a lot of the trees here since the last episode. Or maybe I did it in or before the last episode. I don't even remember. My memory, too good. Trying to upload at least two videos a day is quite challenging on my brain. And I need to record some more Metro later tonight as well, I think. But, whatever. There we go, mine shop, whatever, this way. Yesterday as well, there is an awesome song that was released. Or, it has been released for a while, but... A dude named Vatividia, a huge knower and fan of Dark Souls, and really big YouTuber because of that as well, made a music video for a song named Lord Wessel. I will link it in the description because it's just so damn good if you're a Souls fan. Uh, let's see here. And that's, well, news. Something to talk about, I suppose. Let's cut some more of this down and then we can go down again. 
before I completely run out of all subjects on this planet. Wait, that already happened, that's why I'm referring to all kinds of other stuff that has nothing to do with this channel, really. Well, yeah, I suppose Doxos has, because I'm going to make a playthrough of both New Game Plus 7 for my first time through that difficulty, and a detailed playthrough of the game itself, normally. So I do suppose it actually has some connection. Let's see here. And in case you can't tell, I'm actually pretty awake today, which always is a helpful thing when you're doing stuff. Yes, that was a very good word choice, doing stuff. I'm so specific. Good work, brain. Uh, there we go. Level is now 26, so... This should make it 28 and 30. Yes, perfect. Now, I will have... How will we do this actually when I'm thinking of it or about it? Uh, I guess I want some logs actually, just to make it look a bit more robust down there. And I don't have any logs, great. Oh yeah, let's skip night as well. So much random talking. Let's get stuff done instead. Let's get up here and let's go and cut down some birch wood. I really need to get the new uh, three type saplings and the old ones as well. Like, I need to get every single tree on here. Because we're going to need it. And... Uh, I wish I knew how to make the zoomed out maps, because that would be useful. Um, but we won't at the moment. And I don't even think we have sugarcane anywhere close by here, so... Would be a slight problem. Let's see, let's see. Cut all of this down. And... Uh, no, I can't be bothered with that, that's too close to that. Um, I should just go through and clear out most of the forest later, so just let's just grab all of the birch wood we can at the moment. Together with the saplings, and then we'll just let the rest decay here. And I didn't even realize I got an apple, well, could make a golden apple. Not the notch apple though, but a golden apple. Like, the normal one out of nuggets. Uh, like, the modern, I guess you can call it, the notch apple is so more, much more of a power than they used to be in, uh, like, the beta. Because in the beta they just healed you fully, because back then there was no food bar. Until beta 1.8, I suppose. But, instead, like, each food item you ate gave you a certain amount of health, so bread gave you, like, 2.5... Mushroom stew, I think, gave you either three or five. There was no cooked chicken back then. There was no cooked steak. So pork shops gave you four. That's just confirmed. There was no melons back then either. So you basically had bread, apples, and golden apples. You could only find in chests and dungeons. And what other ki types of bread did you have? Or food? I actually don't think you had anything else. That's just really sad, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you literally had nothing else to eat. Not even spider eyes at the beginning. Um, so food was quite a rare resource. Oh, well, you had cake, I suppose. That was one of the things you had. And why am I going all the way down there? Uh, let's mine this way. And make it look real sturdy around the entrance. If you can call birch sturdy, that's probably the main factor here that might make it look a bit odd, but that should do the trick, right? Yeah, I think so. In my opinion, it does. Then have that there as a little dividing line, like thinning off the wall here. Kind of like a keel. Now, do, 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 how will we do that? And actually, I'm going to have to do this, am I not? Probably, yep. Yep, I am. 
that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but okay. Actually, yeah, having them there like cross beams all the way across looks a lot better. So, mine this out. And this. And this. And this, 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 this. And there, and there, two, three, four, five, one, two, and huh. Let's see here, how would this look actually now when I think about it? Oh yeah, that lo that looks superb. Perfect. So, there we go, acacia wood. Oh yes, this looks so good. We need more birch uh, logs though to finish this up. And we probably should go and breed the cows again in a second. Like, when that farm gets rolling completely, we won't have any problems with, uh, blah, with experience, food, or leather. Which means we won't have any problems with armor either. Which is always a good thing. Especially since I'm always on the hard difficulty. Let's see, kick that ass, kick this ass, whatever. Kick all the ass. Do this, do that. Mine this away. Mine, shop, whatever. Cut it down! Okay, here we go. Back down. I guess we're not going to the nether this episode, but we're setting up this enchanting room though. And then I'm going to cut out until we actually have 30 levels because I want to do the enchantment of the pickaxe on camera. Do that, do that, do that, do that. Um, put that in there and that in there. Uh, do I have anything else that will look good here actually? Trying to think. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. There we go. That looks great. And let's just add that there, actually. And that there. That there. And that there. What will the floor be made out of? I suppose normal planks would suffice. Maybe. Uh, yeah, it will have to pretty much. Or we could do a cross pattern with normal logs. Hmm, that's an interesting idea right there. Let's go and grab some normal logs. I should just cut down the whole forest and then replant it, shouldn't I? Whatever. The mobs are loud, I know, and they're annoying, but I won't get rid of them right now because I don't feel like caving and lighting up the whole area. Right this moment, we will have to eventually. So I'm going to do that eventually. Hmm. Got all of this tree down. And over here. And over here. Hello, the pig. We really need to get some carrots rolling so we can start breeding the pigs as well. Just to have as many animals as possible. 
And I need to see, there's at least one sheep. If there's another one, we can make a sheep farm as well, which would be optimal. I'm not sure if there is another sheep at this exact time, though, which would be sad, but... Yeah. We just have to bring sheep some other way from, or whatever. I can't even speak properly right now. My tongue is slowly dying. Hmm. So, let's do B00's crossbeam floor. Or, I'm not really sure if it's his original design, but it's one that he uses, so I will use, or not even crossbeam, just... Okay, that's not correct. Like... This, basically. No, that's not correct either. How would I do this actually? That's that, so that would be that, and that would be that. This is how I would do it. There we go, looks great. Hmm. Then we need, for the corners there, we're going to use these as pillars. To help support the roof, ceiling, whatever. And then we're going to make some stone slabs, I think. Let's cook some more of this stuff up. Do -do -do. Harvesting crops by hand should actually give you a slight bit of experience, like a minuscule amount, but still a slight amount, because it's it, it would just make sense. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Get that out, then... There we go. There. Perfect. Looks nice. We have an enchanting room. And I will cut out until I have 30 levels, so I actually can enchant something nice looking. And that's not a dungeon, that's where I've been up and down this area. Trying to escape from falling down. Or off the falling down, rather. So, see ya when I have 30 levels. Yes, hit 30 levels. Decided to go out caving a little bit. And uh, I will finish off this cave and then we will be back at the enchanting table. So, yeah, we ended up at level 32. And I actually did... Uh, clear the cow farm once. We have four cows in there right now waiting to grow up. And let's enchant this pickaxe. Ah, what a bummer. I wanted them breaking at least, but whatever. Efficiency free will have to do for now then, I suppose. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will keep on working here, and I redid this entire room as well. Because, well, I like it better. I removed the bookshelves here and fixed the floor. And I actually think this looks a lot better, and a cross the war sign thing with the Swedish colors. So, let's go up and take a final look at the cow farm. And uh, that'll be it. See ya.